It is Tuesday, December 18th, 10.44 a.m. And, um, yeah, so let's just talk about some stuff. First, school. I'm trying something different this, a little bit of last week, a little bit of this week. I'm trying something different where I'm studying in the morning. I'm doing all my stuff for school in the morning. So hopefully when I get home from school, I have very little or nothing to do. So yesterday I had like an hour of studying to do when I got home. Um, today I'm going to see if I can knock that studying out before I get to school. And then in school, just do my 6, 9, 7, 8 a.m. review. And then when I get home, hopefully, don't have to do anything, which would be nice. Um, so I'll do that after I post this. Um... I mean, it all evens out whether I'm, you know, chilling out in the morning, playing some games, listening to some podcasts, and then studying at night, or if I'm, you know, studying now and doing all that watching in the afternoon after school, it all evens out, so whatever. Just trying out, but I feel like it's a little bit better just because it's nice to kind of come home and be able to sit down and just relax, whereas, you know, I wake up in the morning and I just might as well do my exercise just to get all the stuff done, don't go to the computer, and then whatever, so that's cool. Um, 697 exam is booked. There was um, a section where it had what days would you prefer to come to days. Um, I said tomorrow, Wednesday, or Friday, this coming Friday. So hopefully, maybe possibly, I will write my 697 exam before even the Christmas break. I actually said I should hear back today, so hopefully I will. Um, and I still would like to write my 698 exam before the new year. Um, but if I do that, I would probably have to drive in to the school and, and figure all that out with writing all that stuff out and getting a measure up and stuff. So. Yeah, um, I mean the measure up, I'm, I'm still getting like 60 to 70%, but I, I've heard that the measure up stuff isn't actually on the exam and it's more just like extra knowledge or just seeing if you know it, but it's also extra knowledge. So at this point, I just want to see what is on the exam, see what is familiar, what I have absolutely no idea on and see how I do. If I burn a voucher, then whatever. Uh, I just want to I just want to get it done and see what it's like and maybe I'll pass. Um, so that's that. Um, yeah, in class, um, I'm not, it's, I don't know, I'm not really paying too much attention just because it's Project Plus doesn't have a lot to do. Like, I don't need to listen for a lot of it. So, like I said, I am doing a 697 review in class. Um, today, I'm probably going to do that and then start writing my Project Plus questions. So, I'm pretty much done the book. I have, like, 10 pages left. So, instead of doing, like, Chapter 1, Chapter 2, Chapter 3 questions, I'm just going to do all the questions in one, staple it together, and then kind of go from there. And uh, hopefully, over the Christmas break, do that. So... Um, also, Security Plus, I've been going kind of little bit by little bit. I have all the, like, the long, like, the port numbers and, uh, port, ports? What am I trying to say? Yeah, ports or whatever they're called. Protocols, that's what it is. Um, kind of all that stuff done. It's just, at this point, just, like, short answers. So, um, if I kind of memorize all the stuff that I need to in, like, the minimum, then uh, I should have all of Chapter 3 done by Thursday, meaning I can start Chapter 4 next week when I'm on break. So, that'll be nice. Um, so that's exciting. So that'll be cool. The, um, next up is, is Christmas stuff. So, uh, yesterday I got a, I got two large packages and pretty much all of Matt's stuff came in, um, except for Dr. Mario, still waiting on that. Um, there is no tracking number cause it was from eBay, unfortunately. So I don't know where it is. I'm really hoping it's going to come before Christmas. Uh, it, the, the expected delivery was by the end of next week or last week, sorry. So it should be coming in hopefully soon. So, yeah. But anyway, uh, I returned the skull and the Roman Reigns thing because I'm pretty sure he already has those the identical things. So, not sure. But um, yeah. So he got a few things. We kind of switched it out. I'm gonna show you some. Uh, he got. He wanted an Illidan book. He wanted a hardcover, but it was like 60, 70 bucks, something like that. I forget. It was a lot more expensive than that. So. Uh, he said soft cover will be fine. He wanted like a neck warmer for when he walks row. So got him that. Uh, he wanted a few pops, one of which was like Illidan, Arthas, and Thrall. But uh, those were kind of too expensive to fit within the budget. It, it fit within the budget and or they were going to arrive after Christmas. But one of the other pops he had mentioned was he wanted uh, a Doom pop. Uh, the Doom guy. So I went on eBay and actually found a great deal where there was four of these for $10 on a bid. And I was the only one that bid, and I won. The house I came from smells really bad, but, um, and I won that. So it was, after the shipping, it was $26. So I have literally four of these. I, I, I'm not going to show you all of them, but there's four of these, and they're all different colors. It's like a white one, a blue one, the original one, and like a different one. So, on the red one, I guess. So, um, there's four different ones. Um, so what I'm thinking is, depending on how many gifts, so he has the neck warmer. Oh, wait, I also got him like a... It's like a statue of some sorts, kind of. It's like, um, it's basically death, or like a, 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 the shroud of death or whatever. There's no face or anything, but it's like it sits 
like for example if it were, oh my god if it were to sit here it would kind of hang off of this um and it's kind of just a robed figure that looks like death which is i think it looks sick um so uh i think you'll like that and um, that was a more expensive one that we kind of had to return the romance and skull for because i was like if, if, I, if we keep those those two will make us over budget so i uh, got him that but what i'm thinking is so yeah so he has these three things plus dr mario so what, he, what i might do is i'm either gonna make it so he gets one pop like as its own separate present and then every other present besides one obviously because i won't have enough will go like for example illidan book plus a doom pop neck warmer plus a doom pop so uh either do that or do literally every present because i have four presents plus four doom pops i might just do present doom pop present doom pop for all of them so we'll see um it's just really funny to me uh so hopefully he likes it and hopefully he finds it funny um other stuff that came in the mail literally today. Uh, so I ordered this December 7th. It finally came in. Uh, I just want to make sure there's nothing on it. That All right, yeah, so my weed came in. All this for uh, 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 one joint. Um, they need to figure out the packaging because that is, that is way too much cardboard for literally one joint. But um, like I said when I talked about this, I know it's not worth it. It was like 15 bucks, I think, for that. Not worth it, I understand, I just wanted something. So, um, yeah, I woke up today at nine. Um, I, I was in the washroom taking a piss, and it's like, I, as soon as I finished, I was about to flush the toilet, I heard the doorbell ring. So, had I flushed the toilet and started washing my hands, I would not have heard that, and I would have had to go pick it up, which isn't a big deal, the, the post office is pretty close, so, um, wouldn't have been an issue, but it would have been like, oh my God, like he was here when I was here, so. That was nice, um, he didn't ask for ID. Um, surprisingly, cause I was surprised because I, I literally, I woke, I like, I was, I don't even remember what it looked like. I don't remember this event that much because I was so out of it. I was like literally two minutes into being awake, not even. Um, I think he had like a scruffy beard. That's all I remember about him. But he didn't ask me for ID, he just asked for a signature, whatever, which is weird because when I wake up, I have my hair down and all that stuff and it just, I don't look that old. So yeah, but that's in. Um, it doesn't really smell like, I've, I've tried even like smelling like, here and it's like I don't I don't know if there's I don't want to open it now but like I feel like there's probably something in there that makes it uh, not smelly so don't know when I'm gonna smoke that probably sometime earliest at the earliest sometime next week after Christmas um, just have a chill day hopefully it goes well um, yeah and then other stuff in terms of Christmas movies I haven't been catching up on those um, last time I, I made a vlog I said how I was like behind and I haven't watched anything since then. Christmas is coming up, so I do want to watch at least Home Alone and the Grinch cartoon and the Grinch movie. Those are like my, I need to watch those. So sometime this week before Christmas, I will be watching those at the very least. Um, maybe even Home Alone 2. We'll see. I don't really have that much fond memory about Home Alone 2. It's mostly Home Alone 1. But um, yeah. Um, other thing I quickly want to talk about, I'm eight minutes in. I might as well talk about it. So I'll talk about this quick. So November 21st, we call Rogers and we're like, yo, um, our plan is over. So what we want to do is we want to cancel our TV and we want to um, get a new package. I'm like, okay. So a month later, we get our bill. It is actually $30 more than we had previously paying. So previously, we'd been playing, previously we were paying $230 and this bill came at $263. And we're like, what? Like, oh, of course, of course. They're, they said they're going to cancel it and we, um, we're going to get credit. Obviously, not going to happen. So we called in. Uh, and this was on Friday. Called in. And uh, we we're like, what? Like, come on, what's going on? And they're like, yeah. So the TV is pending a cancellation. Uh, you have to return the cable box. And I had asked three times in November. Like, they were like, you have 45 days to return this. I was like, okay. So TV is canceled, and I have 45 days to return this. And they're like, yep, absolutely, no. Uh, that TV would not be canceled until I return the box. So that's why I made the credit for that. I was like, okay, that is not what we were told three times when I asked. So um, that. So I spoke to them and I was trying to get credits done because we were told our bill is going to be $84 in December and then the new price starting January. And I was trying to figure out all these credits and literally I called them once on Friday, um, twice on Saturday, twice on Sunday because I had to have them add credits to my account and cancel TV and then I called again to make sure like like later on to make sure that was actually done. So it took me November 21st call, the Friday call, the the first Saturday call. Saturday call. Yeah, so it took me 3 calls to actually have my TV canceled. 
Like they didn't cancel. There was no pending cancellation. The third time I called, she's like, yeah, I show your TV not canceled like at all. There's not even pending cancellation. So my mom tried to return the box and the person at the store was like, there's nothing here. Like you can't, I can't accept this. You don't have a pending cancellation. So it took three calls to even have it canceled. And then um, the fourth call, I had the credits redone. And the guy's like, I kept saying, I want this done on my December invoice. I'm not, you're not giving me credit for January because the January's gonna come, it's not gonna have the credit, and then February's gonna come, and I have to pay that, and pay more, we'll give you credit next month, and it's gonna be over and over. No, you're giving me that stuff on my December invoice, and January will be, will be normal. He's like, all right, yeah, absolutely, no problem. And then I went online, I submitted a complaint. So I was like, I've talked to this many people, like I'm literally having panic attacks. Like I was sweating and shaking calling these people. And so the manager of customer service, whatever, called me, and she was like, yeah, so, um, I don't know what, what people were telling you, but you don't have these credits. Basically, um, some credits were applied. So your 263 bill is showing as 161, and that is your December invoice. You can pay that. And then next month in January, you'll have a $48 bill because there's some credits applied there. And I was like, no, I do not want that. You are giving me all these credits in December. She's like, no, I can't do that. I can't, we don't have access. To, like we literally can't do that. And like after the call, I'm thinking, dude, how? How is a hundred million dollar company more, maybe even billion dollar company, not have the ability to literally just change invoices? At my last job, we had that. And we were a waste company. What? And I was so irritated. It was so frustrating to the point where I didn't want to talk to them anymore. I was like literally getting choked up. I wanted to cry. Like it was so frustrating that no one was like listening. Like I, all, all I want is my December invoice. I'll give you your money. Just, just give me the right invoice that I was promised. So she's like, all right, I can't do anything. My mom was talking about this point. She's like, I have to escalate this to like the, the office of the president or whatever. And then finally yesterday, apparently I got home from school and mom said she, the president, the, 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 some lady from the office of the president had called and she said, um, December, she's going to make it free. We don't have to pay anything for December. In January, we're going to have like a $40 bill. And then February, we're going back to normal. Um, and she sent us an email about this. So my mom didn't get the call ID, which I think is annoying because... I'm almost positive this is not going to work. I don't care that's the president of the office. I almost, I'm almost positive that there's something that's going to go wrong and we're going to call in like, yeah, we don't have any recollection of this in that email you have. I don't see it, so I don't know. So I, I just, I'm not, I'm, I'm literally like, I'm happy that that part of it's over. I'm just really not looking forward to it. I'm nervous that like the next invoice that's going to come, it's not going to be right. So I don't know. We'll see. Um, that was just a, such a terrible ordeal. Like I hate Rogers and I'm never ever calling them unless it's like my internet's down or something like that. If I'm calling them for billing, I'm never ever like talking, like being like, they don't know what they're talking about. They're trained, but they're not trained fully. They're not trained because there's so much turnover. I imagine they're not going to bother training you on everything and training you correctly because you're just going to quit anyway. So no one told us the right. So we talked to six people who told us all six inf different information. So it was just so frustrating. Uh, so from now on, I'm not even like, I'm not even giving them like, I'm assuming they're retarded and I'm not talking to them like this probably sounds like me being a dick, but I'm not talking to them nicely. I'm like, I'm not going to give them I'm not gonna yell at them, but I'm going to be giving them attitude right away. Um, and as soon as I even hint, have a hint that they are legitimately new, like the one dude I talked to was reading from the script. Uh, and as soon as I sent something like that, give me your manager. You, I don't want to talk to you because I don't trust you at all. Um, from now on, I'm always, no matter what it is, even if I'm calling about my internet, I'm going to have them give me the call ID and I'll have them read out what they wrote in the notes because like three or four times I called her like, yeah, we don't have that in the notes. And I was like, well, she said she wrote it. So figure it out. So from now on, I'm going to be like, yeah, read me what you have in those notes, word for word, verbatim. And then if it don't, if it doesn't have something, I'm going to, I'm going to have that person re-add or update, confirm, remove whatever it is into the notes. And then from the top, do it again, read it to me. Cause I'm not doing that again. It was so frustrating, but that was long, uh, longer than I wanted it to be, but whatever. So that's what's going on. I have such a dry mouth. I'm going to go study for a little bit upload this video. All right. See ya.